All right, so we're going from ground to grid. So we're going to do number three. So I'm giving you a freebie right now. Okay, so the things we know is the distance measured on the ground is uh, 3,000. 1.99 feet. The elevation, mean elevation, where we're at, is 500 feet. And our latitude uh, is 45 degrees, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, so that's all the known. So what we're trying to find is the grid distance. That's what we're trying to find, the grid distance. Okay, so the formula that we're going to use is grid distance or is equal to the ground distance times combination factor. Okay, so there's some few things that we're going to have to figure out before we can actually do this formula. Okay, we're going to have to figure out that combination factor. So the equation for the combination factor, combination factor equals the scale factor times the elevation factor. All right, well, we don't know any of that yet either. Okay, so we're going to have to figure that out yet too. We're going to have to figure out a few of these variables also. So let's figure out our elevation factor. So our elevation factor is equal to R over R plus the elevation. Okay? is equal to twenty million nine hundred six thousand for R, right? R is the mean radius of the earth. Plus our elevation, five hundred. So our elevation factor is equal to what? Remember to carry it to seven decimals, at least seven decimals. The more the merrier. Six one, thank you. Point nine 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 seven six one, seven decimals, right? So that's our elevation factor. Now we want to figure out our scale factor. Here's where we go to those tables. Okay, so the scale factor um, is going to actually we're going to look at that table. So our we need to look at our latitude, okay? So let's uh, hop down here and take a look at our table. So this is the Wisconsin Central Zone table. And if I look, I'm going to be between, so my latitude is 45, 10, 20. And if I look at the table, we have 45, 10, but there's no 20 seconds. So we're going to have to do some interpolation here to figure out our actual scale factor, which is these two numbers here. That's what K is, is our scale factor. Okay? So 
let's, uh, I'm going to write down these two numbers. Get back to the thing here. So, um, at my 45 degrees, 10 minutes, zero, zero seconds, uh, that K value is 0 0.9999535, okay? And then at 45, 10, or no, 45, 11, 0, 0, that scale factor is 0 0.9999535, Okay, so well, we're at we're in at forty five ten twenty with our latitude. So we're gonna have to figure out the change in the scale factor and do uh, proportion here to figure it out. So what is my change in distance between our change in numbers between these two? It's uh, sixteen. Okay, <clears throat> so our change here is 16. So if I do some interpolation, so if I go 16 over, there's 60 seconds difference between these two, right? So 60 for 60 seconds times, and I'm trying to figure out x, and I'm going 20 seconds, so 20 seconds, my x value should be what? I didn't go all the way out. Well, uh, our numbers in here have eight digits, mm -hmm. and you only went to side by one. Okay. okay. All right, we're fine. We're good. Let's see what you did. Five point three two three. Next. Okay. Wrong one. There we go. So X is what? Repeating, okay. 5.333. Okay. So now we just figured out how much change we were going to have here. So our scale factor now is equal to um, 0 0.9999 zero, right? Because we're adding 5.333 to this one to get to our scale factor at our latitude. Okay? So now that we found our scale factor, we can plug it back in up here to be able to find our combination factor. So CF equals our scale factor um, 0 0.9999540 times our elevation factor, which we already figured out, 0 0.9999761. So our combination factor equals what? Now we figured out our combination factor, so now we can go up here and we can do our we can figure out our grid distance. Okay? Because we have from our known they give us the ground distance. So that grid distance, grid distance equals ground distance times com combination factor. So our grid distance equals our ground distance, which was 3,001.99. 3,001.99 times our combination factor right here. This combination factor was 0 0.9993, oh, 
three, four nines, three zero one. So our grid distance is what? Three thousand and one point seven eight. So that's what we were looking for for number three. Three thousand and one point seven eight. So our ground to grid, so our grid distance is shorter. Does that concur with what I told you before? Yep. If we're between the two, you're going to be shorter. Between the two extents of the coordinate system, you're going to be shorter on the grid. All right, does everybody understand that one? So now you're armed to do one through five in the uh, in the uh, ground to grid problems. Now we'll tackle one on the grid to ground. And the one we're going to tackle on grid to ground is um, so we're going to go from grid distances to ground distances and we're going to do number four here. Okay? So same sort of similar thing goes on here, but we're going to go backwards essentially. Um, and we're going to go, we're going to reference our tables again for this one also. Hey, Howard, real quick. Yes. I don't know, I'm just not understanding one thing in all this. When we added this 5.33 for this really long decimal, I don't know why it became. Because it's 16, like, it's like 0. 0.0004. Yeah, I'll, I can go back and I can talk about that. If you subtract those two numbers, you're going to get like 0.0000016. Yeah, so this, this is what we're getting here. 0 0.0000016. That's the change, or two zeros there. That's the difference between these two. Okay, I just held it out at the end here is all I really needed to do. So, just doing a proportion on that. All right, so let's check out number four in the grid to ground distances. Okay, so the known is our distance is 5,300.24 feet. Our elevation is 633.00 feet. This is the mean elevation across our site. And our latitude is uh, 44 degrees, 55 minutes, 19 seconds. Okay. So the ground or the equation we're going to use to find ground distance is uh, this: ground distance equals the grid distance over the combination factor. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff we have to figure out before we can start. We can use that equation. So the combination factor, we know what that is now, right? It's just times the elevation factor. We can't figure these out yet because we don't know what they are. So we have to figure out our elevation factor which is the old R over R plus the elevation. Okay, so R is what? 20,000, 906,000, or 20,906,000. 20,906,000 plus our elevation, elevation is 633. So our elevation factor equals what? Nine, 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 six, 
Yep. Zero point nine 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 six nine seven. So that's our elevation factor. We have one variable there. Now we've got to figure out our scale factor. And this is the same thing as what we did on the last one. We have to go to our tables for this. So our scale factor All right. So if we look at our tables, we're looking at uh, 44, 55, 19. So we're going to go to 44, 55. So we're going to need these two numbers here, this one and this one, because we're between them. 44, 55, 19. So it would be between these two. Okay. So let me write those down here. So we want 44 degrees 55 minutes 00, zero seconds and that one scale factor is 0 0.9999410 44 degrees 56 minutes is 0 0.9999412 okay these are from this tables and the, the difference between these two that change is uh, 2 essentially that's the, the difference between those two so now if we do our proportion so 2 over 60 seconds because we're changing 60 seconds here times we're going uh, if you our latitude is 19 seconds 455 19 so we're going 19 seconds here so we're trying to figure out x so x equals what 0 0.633 0 0.633 repeating Okay, so now we're just going to add that to here. But it's going to be out there a ways, so it's not really going to make a big difference. Okay, so it's basically that point is coming after here if we made this a whole number is basically what we're saying. So we're going to end up rounding up here to make this 0 0.999411 because we're going to add 0 0.63 to this one if we had the point here. Okay. So our scale factor is equal to 0 0.9999410. And we're going to basically add um, this, see we put the point there, 0.63 to it. So it's going to end up being 0 0.9999411, round it up. So that's our scale factor. Making sense? Okay. All right. So now we know our scale factor. We can figure out our combination factor. So combination factor equals 0 0.9999411 plus our elevation factor, which was 0 0.9999697. Sorry, multiply. Combination factor equals someone has it. Let me know. One zero eight. So that's our combination factor. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, I'm still. Yeah, never mind. That that doesn't make sense. I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. One zero eight. Okay, so that's our combination factor. Okay, so now we can go ahead and figure out 
our ground distance because we were given the, or the yeah we were given the grid distance, and we just figured out our combination. Our ground distance equals our grid distance, which was 5,300.14 over our combination factor. So combination factor 0 0.9999108. So our grid distance, our ground distance, sorry, geez, equals what? Oh, point two four. Oh, yeah, look at that. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so it's fifty three hundred point seven one. That's our answer. So does that make sense? Our ground distance is bigger than our grid distance, right? We're between those, which would yeah, would basically prove that um, we're in the middle of our coordinate system zone because the ground distance is larger than the grid distance. And vice versa, for the first problem we did, the grid distance was smaller than the ground distance when we calculated it out. Okay? So now you guys are armed to do problems one through five for the grid distance. So one through five you guys can do to find grid distances, and then you'll be able to do one through five for the ground distances. You only really have four problems in each to do now though. So and I will caution you that number one, you're on the edge of that central zone. So your scale factor is probably gonna be one. So um, but you'll notice that once you uh, go through the tables and start working on those. If I go to 4530 in the table, you'll see scale factor 1. So that'll help you. Um,